Hi, Susan Rutledge here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Illustrator's shape building tool to clean up the area on the outside of your artboard. That's important because after you have made your drawing and you want to save it, if you save it as a JPEG, anything that is connected to the artboard, but even on the outside edges, is going to be saved in that JPEG. And you might want a nice, clean, square edge and the only way to get that without cleaning this edge up is to save as a PDF file. That might not always be the output that you desire, so let's learn how to clean this edge up. First of all, I want for you to be able to see um, the lower part of the area under my artboard, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command Minus, and that will make my artboard smaller. Zoom out and you'll be able to see a little bit more of what I'm doing. I'm going to come up and select my ellipse tool. I could have also used the keyboard shortcut L. And I'm going to click my mouse and I'm going to drag until I get this ellipse about where I want it. And it looks more like a snow hill than a grass hill. So let's give it some color. Go up to the color tool, select green, and it is, um, it's a good color, but my stroke is not quite as wide or as thick or heavy as I'd like it to be. I want this to look pretty cartoony, and um, I do have a black stroke already selected. But I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make my stroke four points instead of one. Now then, I'm going to make two more hills, and they will be off of the same shape and even color and stroke as my first ellipse. And I do that by holding down the Option key, and I simply drag to a new location, and I have a second ellipse, all the same qualities as the first, and let's do that one more time. Okay, this is the beginning of my background. It's not exactly how I want it yet, but um, we can fix that. I would like for this third ellipse to be behind the first two, and to do that I'll use a, short, a keyboard shortcut, and that is Command and Left Bracket. And when I click it one time, it takes it back one layer, but I want it back behind two layers. And so I'm going to click Command bracket, left bracket again, and now it is behind two layers. I'd like my second ellipse to be behind the first layer, and so I'll, with it selected, click Command left bracket one time. And that has my hills where I want them, I think I might like to change the color of these so that they're a little different. With ellipse number two selected, I'm going to come up and I'm going to actually make this uh, a lighter green. And for my third one, I'm going to make it a dark color. And now I have the beginning of my hills for my drawing. Let's go ahead and choose the rectangle tool and let's add our sky by dragging this rectangle across the full artboard and we'll come up and let that be blue. Now then I want this behind everything and so I'm going to do command left bracket that takes it back one layer, command left bracket takes it back a second layer behind the second, and command left bracket again is taking it behind the third layer. If I decided that I wanted any of these changed, instead of doing the left bracket, I hit the right bracket and it brings it in front of a layer. But for this purpose, I liked where it was, so we'll leave it there. Now then comes the part where we need to clean this outside area up. And to do that, first, with the rectangle tool, we're going to draw a rectangle that intersects with the left side of the artboard. And you can see 
by the fact that the, even the upper part of the left side of the rectangle is highlighted, it is intersecting right with that left side. We'll do this again on the bottom. And the point is to get a solid line, the full width of the artboard that covers the areas that we want to remove. I've done that with my right side as well. And now we want to select all of the items, all the objects that are on the artboard because we're going to use all of them uh, except for the sky, but it won't hurt to have it selected. And um, we're going to have all of these that need to have a little part of them removed. I can come over to the left toolbar and select the Shape Builder tool here, or I can use the keyboard shortcut Shift-M, which is what I'm going to do. And now when I scroll over these various objects, I see that my Shape Builder tool is activated. If I simply click and drag over a couple of different shapes and then let up, it actually merges those two shapes. And that's helpful in a lot of cases, but that's not what we want to do here. And so for this to remove these areas, I'm going to hold down my Option key on my Mac, Alt on a PC, click my mouse, and simply drag. When I release, that part that was covered by the mouse drag is now gone. And you can see when I click my Option key, there's a little minus sign next to my arrow. And that's telling me that it's going to minus it out. It's going to remove it when I click and drag. So I simply click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Anything that the drag line is highlighting is going to be removed. And now, very quickly, I have cleaned up my entire artboard background, and I'm ready for drawing on my pretty little hilly um, uh, countryside setting. Now, you don't necessarily have to be using the remove part of the Shape Builder just on the outside of your artboard. You can do that even when you're drawing on the inside of your artboard. So you play around with this and find many useful ways to use the negative or the removal part of the Shape Builder tool as a part of your drawing of your next object. Hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.